Niger's presidential election saga carries on. The country's opposition coalition said on Tuesday that its jailed candidate Hama Amadou will boycott the runoff race against President Mohamedou Issoufou as the government insisted it would press ahead with the ballot expected to hand the incumbent a second term. Let's hear more from our latest report. It looks like change may not be the order of the day this time around in Niger presidential election. Incumbent President Mohamedou Issoufou is set to win a second term in office. It comes as the opposition coalition on Tuesday boycotted the election. Copa 2016 have accused the government of fraud in the first round. No official results have yet been announced. There has been no official announcement by the Constitutional Court of the final results of the first round of the presidential election. Opposition candidate Ama Amadou was forced to campaign from behind bars in the first round. And the Court of Cassation must rule on whether to go ahead with this trial on March 23rd, three days after the second round of ballots. Sur le plan juridique, in legal terms, there will be a real void, which will lead us to some political dead hand. It's quite obvious that the second round is between two candidates, not between one candidate, so I think that boycott is to be feared. The opposition criticized the fact that there was no official announcement of the result from the first round, which took place on February 21st. In that round, President Yusuf won with 48.4% of the vote, and Ama Amadou took 17.4% of the vote counted. The second round is set for March 20th after Isufu fell short of overall majority. As 23rd of March draw nearer, Niger people will be watching anxiously to see what further twist and turn awaits them in this electoral drama.